being able to start an algebra problem, not knowing how you're going to get to the end, but then finding a little bit more information, then using that information to find the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, and just gradually like climbing that ladder until you get to that solution. In a rapidly changing world, Hillbrook takes pride in educating students in essential life skills for learning and for life. We give young people the tools to solve problems, to question, to learn, to connect, and to find solutions where there is no textbook answer. Some of our alumni heading off to college told us how their experiences at Hillbrook helped prepare them for this next chapter and for everything that comes after. It also taught me how to problem solve, understanding that you can do whatever you put your mind set to. And that was really a fun experience that actually held uh, a lot of life lessons and making sure that you're proud of the work that you're doing. It is just an invaluable skill and I think without Hillbrook I would not have had that. And that's something that Hillbrook definitely taught me. Hi, I'm Nick Macarishan. Ellie Chang. Hello, my name is Josh Field. I'm going to Occidental College. And I'll be going to SMU to study business. And I'm going to Tufts University this fall. I'm going to study urban and environmental policy. My name is Madeline McKenzie. I'll be attending Grand Canyon University in the fall. Hi, I'm Morgan. I'm Vishwav El Chandra. My name is Jennifer Moore. I am going to Santa Clara University with an intention in studying criminal science. And I'm going to the University of Washington uh, to study biology. And I'm going to major in classics. And I'm going to Savannah College of Art and Design to study animation. I'm Sebastian Penner Brown. Hi, I'm Melody Jane. Hi, hello. Uh, my name is Quinn Dembecki. And I'm going to Middlebury College and I want to study sociology. And I'm going to Rice University to study computer science. I am Jackson Newland. I'm going to Loyola Marymount University. My name is Clarence Liu. I am looking to go into uh, occupational therapy as a career. I am heading to Pace University in New York City to study musical theater. I'll be attending a Columbia University. Hobrook did a great job of preparing me to use problem solving skills and, and try to attack problems without having a defined path of how to get through them entirely before starting. I definitely learned how to think outside the box. I would say it's a place both to learn. Critically think about what you need to do to do the best at what your task at hand is. Of course, Hilbert offers a lot of good academic opportunities. All the teachers were so supportive and encouraging of all of my aspirations that they made sure that I could succeed in whatever I wanted to do. I had really good critical thinking and analysis skills. But then when it comes to academics and social skills, I think that I was kind of thriving. Um, compared to some of my classmates, I felt like leaps and bounds ahead. At Hillbrook, I learned about myself a lot, and that really helped me know what I needed to do. The teachers, the teachers are so interactive with the students. Helping students think really deeply about what they're learning about. It was really easy to communicate with your teachers. It's a much more like personal, Hilbert does a really good job with all of their classes. You get a more individualized approach. I learned what I enjoyed, what I was good at, how I can study, how I can learn. You gotta trust your own direction and th that you'll end up where you need to be. Whether it be the, the arts, athletics, or, or an academic interest, there is going to be something that you will be interested in, that you'll be able to pursue, and you will have the tools from Hilbert to pursue those tools after you leave. Yeah, I think my time at Hilbert definitely helped that. It's important to try to get out of your comfort zone and try to do different things and do things that I would not have normally done. You can only do that by taking risks and not knowing what the outcome will be. Be kind, be curious, take risks, and be your best. Be kind, be curious, take risks, and be your best. If I didn't have that kind of encouragement to take risks. You should always try new things. And my life today would look very different. Uh, be kind, be curious, take risks, and be your best. Be curious. Be curious. It'll get you learning something new or take you on an adventure. I try to be like an inquisitive person, I guess. Try new things. I think you will find things that you honestly love. If I'm ever like in a situation where I feel like I need some help, like I'll repeat them to myself. Be kind, be curious, take risks, and be your best. Be kind, obviously. Be a good human, be a good person. It encompasses all of the other values. Such a great four core tenets of being, and you, you can't really survive in this world without taking risks and, and having the, the tenacity to seek out what you want to do. Being able to throw yourself out there and figure things out for yourself while also having the support that Hilbert gave me. It makes you feel like you can be yourself. Hilbert's desire for each student to individually thrive. They'll give you whatever you need to succeed. The world is ever-changing and Hilbert trying to prepare you to being okay with 
figuring out things as you go and being able to improvise in the world because it's just a necessary skill for how we exist. I want to strive for greatness. What came through with the, through the teachers and their teaching was just care and love for their students. Really fun experience, an engaging experience. That has translated to me having joy in learning. Break through what you think you're capable of.